Good day, Minecraftians. PurpleMentat here with episode 8 of SevTech Ages, and I've found something interesting to share with you, just as I promised I would. I have been traveling a bit directly away from the village that we remember near the river in the other Darklands, found this strange, like, Darkland step area, found a leather worker, but most importantly, like, this, this Darklands village is just weird and interesting and cool. And, most importantly of all, inside said Darklands village is a cartographer. One empty antique atlas. Fantastic. Yay! Lost, but now found complete. We will commence mapping. What else can we do with Antique Atlas? Nothing. We can't craft with it or anything. The only thing we can do is open it up. As long as we have it on our hotbar, it looks like it will function. Oh, hey, it actually uh, does quite a large area, and we can add markers. Oh, cool. This is actually great. Yeah, there we go. Darklands Village. Ha ha. That is neat. I, I like this. This is very cute. Uh, the other thing that we have of interest in this direct area is... Oh, I also uh, did the farmland trade to just get that gone. Uh, chickens, which we can carry around thanks to the carry on mod. Hold shift, right click without a shield in your hand. And you can carry every vanilla animal except for a cow. Or no, except for a full grown horse. You can also carry to uh, totemic small and medium sized animals. So this is how I'm going to be getting my chickens, my sheep, and my pigs is making use of this at Oh my god, that Alice is adorable. Sorry, I got distracted. Making use of the <gasps> cows. Excellent. There's cows relatively nearby too because I'm pretty sure that over this hill and down, uh, down a ways, I'll find my house. But I'll know for certain once I have the... Uh, um, once I get there once and I can mark it on the atlas, it'll be a lot easier for me to travel back and forth. Yeah, it's going to be a long run holding a chicken and a cow, so I'm not going to subject you to all of that on camera. I just wanted you to see that the possibilities were there. And if it starts getting dark, which we're in no danger of as it's about noon, man, having just the ability to travel in a straight line is something I miss having without, you know, uh, having a mini-map available. Like, I don't even... I, I, I use a mini-map in real life. I am hopeless. Well, I'm not as hopeless as, as some when it comes to directions, but I much prefer having some form of technological assist for that, and I'm just really happy to, you know, have a map again. It's good. Uh, that looks like the ocean. Definitely going to go on, like, a mapping spree at some point and try to fill in this atlas. And then, you know, we can see the whole area around. I'm pretty sure that this foresty looking area is home. I like that it kind of shows you, like, what the different biomes are through the um, illustration. Oh dear. <laughs> Look, it's a snack carrying a snack. <laughs> Those wolves got to think that it was uh, their lucky day until I got away. That was quite the hill to climb. Horsies. I really hope that I'm going in the right direction. Can't be 100% certain until I get to 
the right riverbank, you know? Uh oh. Um, starting to feel a little bit lost, guys. That is a problem. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't think I traveled that far. Oh, there's there it is. There it is. There's my village. Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> it's a long way to go for a chicken, huh? All right, hang on right there for a minute, chicken. There, if we can see dark lands across the river, yes, good, dark lands across the river. That is just great. Now we'll be able to plot a course directly from point A to point B. Oh, you know what? My boat is still back at the village. Let's hop on the boat. Hopefully we can choose our zoom level with our, uh, uh, with the atlas open. Like, fully open. And then it'll stay that way on the UI. That would be great. That way we can have it nice and zoomed way out, because the de the detail map isn't that helpful. Because it's, it's really just not all that detailed. I mean, look, this is forest, right? Ish? It's Darklands. <laughs> it's really just kind of showing me, like, a very, very low detail view of the terrain in general. It doesn't even have my, uh, like, the stuff I've built here. It's just showing me, like, what the vanilla world was. As you can see, I've already abducted a few pigs and sheep from across the river. So all we're missing now is two more cows, uh, two cows and one more chicken. Yeah, there you go. All right, so where am I at? E up here. That's a lot of water in between here and there. You know, I bet that I could run a path to here and then boat my way down. That might work out better. So we're gonna add a marker. We're going to go stand on our bed and add a marker for our bed. Marker. There. Bed. Home. Excellent. It does not look like there's any way for me to change the zoom of the mini-map. Let's check the mod options for Antique Atlas. Uh, nope. Antique Atlas overlay? Nope. Okay. Nope, we just have to rely on uh, being able to open the atlas every now and then and having a general idea of where something is compared to something else. Anyway, just wanted to share all that with you real quick while I had the chance. I'm going to uh, get back to abducting some animals and once I've got that done, we're going to do some, uh, uh, get, get some magic happening. All right, we've got the start of our menagerie back home, and I'm slowly breeding up more cows because we're going to need them. We've got four pigs, four sheep now. I think we're up to four chickens. I need to get something to clean out these feathers a bit easier, but don't worry, we're just about to get on top of that. 
deal with the fact that we can't get over this wall very easily. That won't be a problem for very much longer. And the way we're going to do that actually is going to make use of the mod that we've been digging into. I've been doing some research on Totemic, and we've got some immediate options with it. We can use a stick and a flaked flint to make ourselves a totem whittling knife. And it starts on totem base, and every totem needs a base, so let's go ahead and whittle that. The other ones that we're going to do, well, well we better get to it. It's uh, almost night time. It is night time. Do a quick uh, sleep and then be done. Poof. Uh, there we are. Uh, I am stuck in my teepee. Let's see, what were the other ones I wanted? I... Uh, bat blaze, buffalo, cow, no, enderman, no, horse, yes. Horse. Bam. Ocelot? Yeah. Ocelot, horse, ocelot, pig, rabbit, wolf. Just in case there's any creepers. Huh. I don't know if this is actually working. No, they don't look any uh, different. Oh yeah, there we go. Look, we're getting our uh, boosts. Rabbit is giving us a jump boost. Pig is giving us a luck boost. Horse is giving us a speed boost. Wolf is giving us a strength boost. And Ocelot prevents creepers from exploding nearby. So now we can jump high enough to get up on the walls. And these effects have a pretty big area to them. For example, if I were to run this way, oh, well, I guess it's not huge. I'd have to set up more totem poles in more places to get the effects everywhere. You get a few seconds worth of it just by being right near it. But it looks like if you're even a chunk away, it wears off pretty quickly. Yeah, you basically got to be within like ten or, uh, 10 or so blocks, it seems. Very short range when you're working with oak wood. I believe that there are methods to empower that that we'll get into in a bit. But, I mean, right now, it's doing the job. It means that when I'm around this, I move faster, I hit stronger, ocelot and creepers can't explode. And I can jump over the wall. So it's doing everything I need it to. Just not everything I want it to. And that just the way magic goes. Alright, so I've been um, also getting a bunch of low-grade charcoal made up. I've got a whole stack of it, which I'm going to set to grinding into uh, the charcoal item. The... the I... Horse... What are you... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and once we have enough of the charcoal, which I'm going to take a quick look at and show you, that grinds down into charcoal, we're going to be able to uh, put that into our press to turn into charcoal blocks. And we're going to need those charcoal... <laughs> Pardon me, sorry about that. We're going to need those charcoal blocks... Um, to complete one of our current missions. And I think that might be it. Maybe we'll learn more after we do pressing your luck. Should really make a free range tomahawk. Wow, down to, uh, yeah, right. It takes uh, this entire stack of low grade charcoal because it only produces four at a time. It's gonna produce 256 which is only going to get me 28 of the regular charcoal blocks. Still, I'll be happy to have them once it comes time to start powering things that don't run off of magical f um, flames underneath them that never go out. Alright, so next on our list, we need to turn some of these cows into buffalo. And the reason for that is actually a little convoluted. So we want to make gears, right? Well, to make gears, we need buffalo teeth, which is a, was a surprise to me. I like that uh, it's a bit of that nod towards use every part of the uh, animal. That is a classic trope for most uh, Native American mysticism. 
or at least most representations of it in media. I can't speak to how well Totemic is actually representing said mysticism. It seems to be a very much an outsider's look at it. But uh, it's at least interesting and... Uh, I don't know. There, there's one part of me that thinks it's cool that it's been included, and another another part of me that wonders if it's just playing into old stereotypes and is a bit problematic. Oh well. Enjoy the media you have, even if you critique it. That's pretty much the uh, best way to go. Alright, where was I? We have the ability to start doing different rituals. And to do them, it's a simple matter of um, setting down our instrument, holding our rattle, and making sure that we... Oops, wrong book. <laughs> Here we go. Making sure that we select the proper ceremony. To perform a ceremony, um, you need to be near a totem base, and you s uh, select your ceremony by playing the proper instruments in a row to start that ceremony. So the first ceremony that we're going to do is the flute imbuation, which requires us to play the flute twice in selector mode. And then, as you can see, it's just a matter of making sure we fill up the bar. And there we go. Now we have an infused flute. The infused flute is good for a couple of things. Um, the it One, it produces a uh, much more melodic energy. And villagers and animals will follow it as if you were the... Um, uh, you were the Pied Piper. So we'll be able to empower our ceremonies a little bit easier now for the Mandan Buffalo Dance, which requires us to totemist drum and then wind chime. Well, we don't have wind chimes yet, do we? Let's take a look at what we're going to need for those. Ah, one bone. No problem. Hang on. Let me just grab my... Grab a... I don't have them in there. I have them in the monster drops chest. That makes sense. And then I need some string and some flint as well. Uh, sticks, string, string, bone. Ooh, sugar cane. I really need to get real chests. This is, this is, this is too much for me, you know? All right, sugar cane. And the flint. Sugarcane doesn't go in those. Alright, you have to have an empty hand to take it out. Yeah, sugarcane doesn't go in those spots. The string does. Sticks go up top. And bone right there. Now, the wind chime works a bit differently than the others. You can attach it and just let it play on its own. Ooh, I don't know if this is too far away. It works better on the base of a tree. All right, so what did it say? Chime, uh, no, drum and then chime. Drum, oh, we have accidentally started the Zafkiel Waltz, which is uh, ceremony of growth. Nearby plants will grow at a much faster rate. Chickens will grow out of their eggs. And mundane saplings get turned into red cedar. Rattle, then drum. So yeah, it did not count the chime at all. That is too far away. Uh, oh, you know what? We're going to... Wish that I knew how to grab you. Uh, pickaxe, maybe? Let's try pickaxe. Yep, pickaxe. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and grow a sapling over here. Let's just do standard birch. We've got some bone meal to speed it up. Put it right there. Should do fine. Yep, now we can have our wind chime. 
close to hi bat close to the base of our totem as well as uh, um, on a tree and the reason we wanted it on a tree specifically is if I take a look at musical instruments under wind chime it says that uh, not rare to see them hanging from branches of leaves and there have even been rumors that it could make them create more musical melody yep and uh, the musical melody from the wind chime just basically happens all on its own it's a kind of a passive assist you can set up a whole bunch of them and get extra uh, bonuses from that so where were we buffalo dance yes drum then chime all right drum chime buffalo dance good And look at that. Now we have two baby beefalo. They're so cute. While they're tiny, you can pick them up and move them around. But once they're full grown, uh, they will be far too large for that. And if we want to speed their growth, that is an option. I don't know exactly if they'll eat everything, but I do know they will eat wheat. We're going to try the various vanilla crops on them because they've got our best bet of functioning the way we want them to. Come here, beefaloes. Oop. Nope, you don't care for beetroot or potato or carrot, but you do like that wheat. And this is supposed to function the same way as uh, horses, where if you feed them, they can grow a bit faster. The overall goal is going to be to do that uh, Mandan Buffalo dance again a time or two so that we can get more um, cows turned into beefalo. And I don't think that the cow offers me anything that I really care for. I mean, we've get cow pelts are four rawhide, but buffalo hides are six. And steak from raw beef well raw beef we can cook into steaks and not a whole lot else that we care about i guess it's part of a um specific alchemy thing but i can always go get more cows later on so yeah that's that's going to be the plan for well probably uh at least a in-game day cycle it's going to be just tend my cows and buffalo and get a couple more going so that we can start um, slaughtering some buffalo for the sake of their teeth mostly which is disturbing I will admit back in a bit all right so I have bred up buffaloes raised two to adults read them once and unfortunately had a bug with the recording on where i slaughtered one of them this unlocked the ancient animals achieve uh, advancement advancement and gave us access to the spooky boss battle which um summoned the boss baycock via a totemic ceremony and defeat him to acquire his powerful bow and unlock range combat early that sounds all kinds of up my alley but unfortunately to perform the chimes of death to summon the spirit known as baycock we need the eagle bone whistle and the eagle bone whistle requires us to perform the eagle dance which requires parrots so that means another adventure into the wild to find ourselves another animal and I, I i just don't think i have that in me i'm going to leave that as an option that will just have to stay undone we got two buffalo teeth from the one buffalo that we were able to slaughter so far and uh we need at least two more before we can make our wooden gear what we can do in the meantime though is we can go ahead and make our flame grilled goodness because we have all of the components of the oops there it is the flame grilled whopper 
uh, shark teeth. We get lots of shark teeth. If you uh, don't remember how, I can show you again some episode. <laughs> uh, basically, just go stand in the water over there. Uh, we need some charcoal dust. Actually, that's a great idea. Let me... Is it too late? It's not too late. Let me grab a couple of charcoal. And we're going to grind the charcoal into dust first there, buddy. Uh, can I grab that easily? Yes. There you go. Get that. You know what? That's silly. This is why we have a hand grinder for things that I need done now. Boom. Ah, uh, what? Oh. Never mind, ignore all of that. You need to have the millstone done before you can make the charcoal dust. And <coughs> we need... Hmm, we don't need the gear for the millstone. We probably need it for the hand crank, though. Yes, we do. And you need the hand crank to run the millstone. Huh. Oh, well. Oops. We can't use the charcoal pieces yet, though we can craft them. Well, that's a first. Had to happen eventually, though, I suppose. It was inevitable. <coughs> Oversights happen. Uh, these guys need to breed up more. All right, so I guess I'm kind of stuck in a bit of a waiting game at the moment. Uh, uh, right, I need to grab a charcoal block for the... There you go. Pressing your luck. Unfortunately, no follow-on. Yeah, but I'm stuck in a waiting game because we need the millstone. We need the hand crank to power the millstone. We need the millstone to make the charcoal dust for the flame grilled goodness. And we need the flame grilled goodness to be able to do the ace of melter base. Let's see. What is this? Uh, well, I mean, we can get started on this. Melter and heater. Craft a heater to get started. Fortunately, we won't know what comes after it. That's all. So our options are either the seared brick type or the porcelain brick type. Porcelain brick requires us to make porcelain, which is done in the millstone. Seared brick requires grout, which is also done in the millstone. Okay, so yeah, they thought of this. We're, uh, we're waiting on some buffalo. You know what? I got a solution to that. Great thing about uh, the uh, totemic. This stuff's portable, easily portable. Uh, and while I was out and about searching for cows and just, I did some exploring around the ocean nearby, that anti-swamp over there, turns out there's a ton of cows there. So I'm gonna head, I'm gonna head back over there. Should still have my boat at the end of this path. Uh, am I particularly worried about Anything else? Yeah, let me do some inventory cleaning and I'll meet you over in the swamp. All right, using the power of the flute Pied Piper effect by playing it and leading them around, I've got uh, a small handful of cows gathered. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our drum and our rattle and we're going to carve the base of this tree into a totem base. There we go. Oh, right, and they all run when I do. <laughs> I forgot about that. That... That sucked. Hang on, let me gather them back up again. Basically works like holding a piece of wheat in your hand. Oh, hey, look, there's a whole uh, herd of them over here. Hey, it looked... Worked out in the long run anyway. Kind of annoying if you, uh, if the music bothers you, though.
There's the tree. I'm hoping that by having a nice big herd of them around, it'll end up working out even better. All right, so quick consultation for the buffalo dance, drum and wind chime. Right, I'm gonna have to place the wind chime, which is gonna panic the cows again. Aha, darn it. Well, when I get them already gathered, I'll come back. There, one herd of cows in the proper place. Uh, drum first, then chime. Drum, chime, buffalo dances, go. Let's see how many of them actually turn into buffaloes. Still just the two. All right, so this was largely a waste of time. We're just stuck waiting. And I probably can't get the best rewards by killing them immediately. Uh, wow, they're fast little buggers, aren't they? Nope, you get nothing if you kill a baby buffalo. Okay then, I'm gonna uh, transport the other one back home. We're gonna take our wind chimes and our uh, drum and our sadness with us. And I'm gonna spend some time in between episodes uh, doing more ranching. Good idea to get started on this earlier, if you can. Hit up them buffaloes as soon as possible, or you may find yourself at a bit of a time gate. Which I'm not too concerned with, but I imagine it could be annoying for some. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If so, leave me a thumbs up, tell me what you liked. If not, leave me a thumbs down, tell me what you didn't. Either way, if you want to see more of this, please click subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time new uh, episodes come out, make sure you ring the bell next to the subscribe button. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.